Okay, welcome back to Metroid Super Zero Mission Blind. Okay, last time we screwed the pooch twice, and um, we'll see how many times we'll screw it this time. Yeah, that poor pooch, man. Barely survived the first time, and then the second time just put it out of its misery. Okay, so uh, last time we finally got uh, bombs after, after that poor pooch got screwed twice. But, uh, you know, I wonder if uh, YouTube... YouTube's like robot word algorithm police uh, doesn't like um, like Metroid videos because it says the word bomb like so many times. The thing is so stupid. It's just like, oh, I said bomb like 50 times in the episode. It must be like a terrorist video. Better like shadow ban it so like nobody sees it. You know, some people think that um, that if you say the word shadow banned, that um, that YouTube like puts the screws to your channel too because it's because they're like. Well, why would they say the word shadow band unless it was happening to them? And it wouldn't be happening to them unless they were being like a naughty boy, you know? Okay, so apparently I've already like been this way. I thought that we were gonna like go somewhere. It just took me to the map though. I thought that was gonna be like our progress path. But, uh, but it was not. I haven't played this by the way in almost it's been over three weeks, I think. It's been close to a month, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I did go back and uh, check out the first episode. But uh, I'm not... Other than that one path, I didn't really have like a place in mind to go to. I guess we could try going up and left from here. There's like a whole like area we haven't been to. Oh, man. Yeah, I gotta... I'm sitting here thinking, like... Like, should I talk about the game or should I go deep? I don't know. I always go deep on these, uh... On these Metroid ROM hack playthroughs or whatever. Okay, so I cannot go that way. And I got stuff on my mind... That I kind of feel like talking about. Well, part of it is... Uh, well, it's a whole bunch of things, actually. Well, god dang it, where should I go first? I should like decide where I'm gonna go. Can I not go, like I gotta try like all the paths again. Cause like, I don't remember, like, I, like was I not able to go right and up from the save room? You know what, I normally don't do this, but whatever. Let's just start from here. Oh god dang, I gotta get the map again. Let me just take a look at what was preventing me from like going up. I thought I came from up. I think I did, but I wasn't able to go up further. Oh, they did the slanted ceiling. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Uh, okay, so I got bombs, so we have to just find a place to use bombs. I'm pretty sure there are places I just gotta, like, go back. I gotta go back to a place where we can use them. Which I'm pretty sure, um, like, this entire excursion to, like, this area was to get the bombs. But there were places I'm pretty sure that we could have used them. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking of some places. I don't exactly know where they are. But, um, but we do have places that we can, uh, check out, so, uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna cut, like, almost right away or whatever in the episode, but whatever. Let's, um, let's meet back, and we'll bomb some stuff. My gosh, I can't go back! I can't go back because of the stupid gate! Oh yeah, and I forgot that I hate this room. Is there a place I can bomb through? Okay, sweet. Oh, god damn, why? Oh my god. And there was a one that appeared, like, right here, too. Yeah, I wasn't trying to get that, but apparently there's a shortcut there. I, like, bombed this thing, and then a dude appeared, like, out of the floor. So I was, like, trying to, like, anticipate that dude being there. I don't know how he got there in the other episode or whatever. Okay, so we were able to get out. Um... So I guess we just gotta, uh, backtrack. I thought, uh, I didn't think that I'd be able to, like, find my way back so easily. But, um, oh, and I can just go over these guys. Oh my gosh. I wonder what that's supposed to be in this game. It's not just, like, white lava, I'm assuming, right? Like, it's supposed to, like, it's supposed to, like, represent something, I'm assuming, right?
Oh man, so I don't exactly remember where those places are that I'm thinking of. Those places where I can bomb. I just gotta like look around until I find them. Oh, right there, right below me. And I can check uh, to the left uh, when I go down that little shaft to the left of me too. Let's check out, let's check those two places out. One of them's probably progress, right? Okay, oh, we can check, uh... Wasn't there a thing here? We can check this also. Oh, that's what this was. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a one-way. Okay, so we ain't going there. Let's check out option number two. I am being kind of haphazard, yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking, uh... I'd been thinking or whatever. Um, in the first episode, I mentioned it had been an hour and a half. Not an hour and a half. A year and a half since I did the last one. So I was just kind of thinking. I was like, man, what was I doing a year and a half ago? I don't know. When I was a kid, something that my mom would do is from time to time, she would do this thing where she would just be like, one year ago, we were doing this or whatever. One year ago, today, we were at grandma's house. Or one year ago, today, we were getting ready to move. Because we moved several times growing up because my dad was in the Air Force. You know, and it would just, uh, it was just to, uh... Oh man, I thought that'd be sneaky if I could blow that up. Actually, I would just fall through the troll block. Okay, never mind. Okay, so is this an exit? Is this exit only? You know, nobody really says that anymore. There was a time, if you're, uh... Under the age of, I don't know, 30? But uh, there was a time, I'm 39, and when I was a kid, apparently it used to be a phrase, where whenever whenever you wanted to, like, um, show that you were, um, like, like uh, repulsed by, uh, by something gay, you would just say, Oh, it's exit only, man. That was, like, the thing that you would say. Exit only. Meaning like your butt was like an exit only, like nothing was nothing was supposed to be inserted into it. But apparently, like nobody says that anymore. Nobody said that in a long time, actually. Also, nobody says SBD anymore. Somewhere down the line, people stopped saying SBD and like nobody noticed. And flamed. Everybody used to say flamed. Nobody says flamed anymore. Sometimes people would, um, whenever they knew they were going to get flamed. They would say like a hot take and then they would put in like an asterisk and they would say raises flame shield because they knew that they were going to get flamed and they were, they were they were just like letting you know that they knew that that what they were saying was like a hot take uh speaking of which there i can't go this way so yeah so cannot kill those guys wait what are you supposed to do if you don't know how to like can't like get out of here which by the way i might not be able to get out of here i might get hit too many times i might die Is it just death? If you can't like wall jump to to morph ball or whatever? Dude. Wow. I'm assuming charge shot will not kill these guys. My god, I can't I can't do all the things in one motion. My god, now they're like off center. Oh, there's a super missile thingy down here. I'm assuming that's super missile, not regular missile. Uh, where was it? Right here. It kind of looks like one of the, uh, the bolt thingies from, like, the Mega Man games where you have, like, the little, little bolts that you use as, like, currency. I got, I keep... I'm toast, yeah. As soon as I saw him, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get pinned in between them. Oh, Bon of a Sitch. Oh, the good news is that I saved right here just a second ago, Durr. Okay, shoo. But uh, somewhere down the line, everybody stopped saying flamed, and like nobody noticed. So everybody stopped saying exit only, and they stopped saying SBD, and they stopped saying flamed. I guess like stuff kind of comes and goes, but when the stuff goes, it goes for like a long time, and then suddenly you're just like, hey, nobody said that in like a hundred years. Dude, I know how to do this move. I can, I can, 
I can do it, just not right now, apparently. I'm, a, I'm being a little more haphazard since I know that I can just, uh, since I know I saved right here. Oh my god. Is this like a trap? Like, you have to know how to do this maneuver to, like, escape. There's no enemies to, uh, to farm health off of, so they don't want you to, uh, just tank the damage in the left room. Let me just, uh, make sure. Maybe it's just, like, a super short room that you can just run through. Uh, nope. You cannot survive. Man, which game was it that, or which ROM hack was it that had you, uh, you had to do, like, the speedrun section where you had to, like, run through an area and just tank tons of damage? Uh, like, you had to tank, like, heat damage, and you had to do it, like, almost perfectly. I'm pretty sure, like, I think I was, like, missing, like, an energy tank or two. So I sort of, like, inadvertently, like, made it, like, harder on myself, and maybe there was, like, no way to get back out or something. Yeah, that, yeah, that was terrible, actually. Boy, once they get, like, out of sync, you're, like, toast. Yeah, I did it, but then I was, like, going the wrong freaking way. Oh, my God. I'm at a save state right here just so I can uh, speed it up instead of having to go back to the uh, the save room every time and, like, do this whole thing again. But I was thinking about what I was doing, like, a year and a half. I was like, what was I doing during the last... It was, like, April... It was, like, April 2022... At the time, I was, like, losing weight because I had let myself go. I got I got to over 200 pounds. Which, by the way, I weighed myself today just so I would have the number to, to say in the video. I'm just barely under, like, 180, so I have kept it off. But the, uh, the job I'm doing now is so, like, physically demanding that I actually got, like, under 175. But now I'm, like, creeping up on 180 again, because lately... Oh, it's, like, a whole other thing that I could talk about for a fucking hour, but... This station that I'm on at my job is, like, super mega ridiculous. And, like, I got my back against the... Like, I'm basically, like, metaphorically or whatever, I'm, like, working with, like, my back against the wall, like, all day. Like, the station is just so unbalanced. And uh, anyone that's worked at a, at a fast food restaurant will understand this analogy. This is like the perfect analogy. Um, for those of you that don't know, every drive through in America, for the most part, has is like timed. There's like a timer above the window. So, you know what? Everyone should know that by now. And a lot of people don't know that. The people that work at these fast food restaurants should, like, tell their friends and family that, um, that this is, like, a thing. Because the customers, like, don't understand. They, like, they don't know. And then they, they get their food, and then they'll, like, hand out all the food to each of the four people in the vehicle. Or they'll, they'll, like, respond to a text instead of, like, instead of, like, getting out of the drive through or whatever. Wow, that I just did on the first try. You know, they don't realize that we're on a timer... So it's, like, really frustrating when we, like, go fast to get you your food quickly, and then you just sit there, and then run up the timer, and then it makes it look like we're, we, like, weren't going fast, you know? It makes us look like we're, like, bad at our jobs, you know? Um. Okay, so that was, like, Bubkiss. I, like, put, like, all my faith in that being, like, the right way. What was in here? It's a little janky. Oh, actually... I wonder if I am supposed to do that. They put that recharge right there. Ah, uh, ha, 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 hmm. But, um... Okay, so I have to, like, not get hit by these guys on the way down. Except I can't see the other guy. Oh, god dang it. This is how you get... Wait! But I've just done this. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> god damn it! Oh, man. Okay, well, that's how you get out. You can shoot these things, too, for some reason. Okay, well, I was making that harder than it needed to be. But, like, the maneuver was, like, it looked doable. I mean, it was doable. So I thought you just had to do it. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like I thought maybe I like maybe sequence break something. Uh, sequence break did it something else or something. I don't know. Um. Okay, still didn't make it. Maybe I have to go like back further and get another energy tank or two, so I can survive long enough to go through there. I'm gonna try again though. Maybe if I would have killed that guy, he would have given me some energy. Uh, there might be. Like, he might be programmed to, like, drop an energy ball that gives you, like, a full energy tank. Wait, I could probably shoot those. Uh, okay. Well, I'll try shooting it next time. But basically, let's just say if you have, like, like every order, let's, let's say, like, you have two minutes to get every order out, regardless of the size of the order. So let's say you have one order that's like a small order that you could get out in like 30 seconds. And then the next order is like a big giant order that there's like no way you can make in two minutes. What any fast food employee with any amount of intelligence will do, what what they'll do, and they do this like, they do this at like, I guarantee that they do this at like every restaurant. It's called being smart. Um, what they'll do is the one, any like when they get like the small order, they'll finish it in 30 seconds they'll hold on to it for 30 more seconds to buy 30 more seconds to make the next order. They're sort of giving that, like, they're using that time on the next order. Because once that... Because basically, if you hand out the 30-second order, you're just... You're just, like, uh, making the timer, like, start again on the next one. Okay, I don't think that's possible. All right, we'll get out of here then. Okay, I feel like I didn't explain that properly, but if you have, if you have an order that is small, you wanna, you have an extra minute and a half to make that one. So if you use 30 seconds or a minute of that time, you can work on the next order while using the time on th on the small order. And then when that one leaves, cause when, because if you hurry up and just get the 30 second one out, now you just you're you're just uh starting the timer on the next car sooner. But you can delay the timer starting on it while still actually getting started on that next order on the big one. So that's kind of what my station is like except like the, there's always someone Yes, you do actually have to at least be good enough to jump turn into a ball and put a bomb there. So basically, my station is so, like, they call it heavy, meaning there's, like, a lot of work to do on it. My station is so heavy that, um, in order to, quote-unquote, help me, uh, the person at the ad adjacent station will just send the motor, which basically just, like, it's it's it would take too long to explain, but there's, like, things I have to do, like, in between motors to, like, get ready for, like, the next one or to get ready for the next kind of gear case to put on. I put the gear case on the on boat motors. So there's, like, they call it dunnage time or whatever. So there's, like, things that I need to do. Because when you do a normal station, you hit the button to send the motor. The motor leaves your station. And then it... So that takes, like, you know, 10 seconds or whatever. And then the next motor pulls into your station, which takes like 10 seconds. So during that 20 seconds, what you do is you just like get a drink of water or you like, you know, stretch your back out or, you know, check your phone or whatever, you know. But on my station, during that 20 seconds, I have to like go and like do other stuff too. So I don't even get that like that 20 second break that like everyone else gets. Okay, so I can backtrack further. There were more things I could do uh, if I go back more. But I just want to uh, remind myself, like, why I couldn't go up here. Maybe I could go up here. Oh, I need the ice beam. You know, I could also bomb jump up here, probably. You know, I could save a lot of time if I can. It is kind of hard to do. You can jump and do it. But I feel like the... 
There we go. Because it'd be nice if I could get ahead or get above that dude. That way he doesn't, like, F up my bomb jump or whatever. Okay, so it's actually lower than I am, like, thinking to anticipate. Is that... Is the... Is the timing of the bomb explosions different in this game? Like, does it take longer for them to blow up in this? Like I said, I also just haven't played Super Metroid in a long time, so I might just be not remembering correctly. Why can't I get a third bomb jump? I can only do two. Alright, let's try it from the ground. Why am I going right through that explosion? Maybe that I can't tell if like the game maybe just doesn't want you to to bomb jump in this game. I don't know. It looked like I went like all the way through it. So I guess we'll just not worry about it for now. Okay, that's troll blocks. So can't go that way. Okay, we just have to backtrack more, I think. We have to go back to the uh the dark area, the blue or the the blue area. Okay, where the, where the heck was it from here? Okay, just going up, I think, is a dead end. Does the circle mean that there's an item there? I thought that... I thought circle meant there's an item there, and then when you got it, it turned into a dot, I thought. Let me just confirm on this one dot that I can see, or this one circle that I can see. But in order to, like, speed up the line or whatever, whenever I finish a motor, the person in the station adjacent to me just sends the motor. So, if, like, I have 2 minutes and 41 seconds to do each motor. So if I get done in, like, 2.10, I can spend 20 seconds doing, like, extra stuff that I need to do and then still get it out before the time, till, uh, before the time goes over or whatever, you know? But basically, if they send the motor at 210, they're depriving me of that 20 seconds I need, which then puts, like, added pressure on me for, like, the next motor. And then that just goes on, like, infinitely. So now I have to, like, hurry to get, like, the next one done, like, faster, because I don't have that little extra bit of time that I built in for myself or whatever. And then what sucks is that I can't, like, protest it. I can't say to not do that, because you can't... You can't, uh, you're supposed to just do it and, like, not tell anyone. And everyone does it, and everyone doesn't, everyone keeps their mouth shut. But when you got someone who's, like, pressing the button and, like, sending my motor, I can't take the position of don't send the motor even though it's completed. Because you have to, like, you can't, like, when you're in a factory, you're all about production. You can't take the position of, like, not sending a motor that's completed, you know? Like, if it's completed, then, yeah, you send it. Like, why wouldn't you send it? So I'm kind of in a position where it's like, it's like a no win, which is why the only option I have is to really, is to get the hell out of there. Which is why, uh, last week or whatever, I put a bid in and I have, the good news is that I have tons of, um, oh, it's a troll block. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think we just have to backtrack more. Did I try going left from here? This is where I just... Okay, I did. Where was that place where there was the, um... Like, the little face in the wall? There's a place where we could obviously bomb. Oh, it was right here. Or it wasn't a face in the wall, but it was, uh... One of these, you know what it, you know what I mean, right? Oh, man, you can't bomb that. I thought you would have been able to bomb this. What's the point of this? This actually doesn't do anything. Wait, can I bomb that little one on the side? No. Uh, okay, I guess we'll backtrack further. Was there anything down here? Or was it just... Oh, we could try here. Another troll block, okay. Boy, we could just, like... Am I gonna have to start pressing up on walls? Now that I know that there are false walls in this game, I could potentially just press up against a wall 
and just go right through it. I guess I could shoot it and see if the bullet doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't, like, get stopped by the wall. But, uh, like I said, I have lots of seniority, so, I'm like, anything that I bid to, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get, but it could still take a month or two or three to actually get me moved. And I just said in a recent episode, or I guess it's not recent, but in one of the episodes of uh, EDF, Earth Defense Force, I was talking about it, how I always tell people, um, like, don't wait until you're about to lose your shit to bid. If you feel, like, if you feel the cracks are starting to show, if you feel like you're going to start losing your dang mind, just bid. Like, don't wait. And I always say, like, if you're in some kind of, like, bad situation where something is, like, shitty for whatever reason, don't wait for the, um... Oh, man. All right. We got, uh, we got, uh, new area. I'm assuming we're supposed to be here. I mean, the fact that I'm pretty sure that that the that the games typically don't let you go to like one of these like areas with the face or whatever. By the time you can access it, then you are supposed to be there. Is that correct? I mean, there might be a Metroid ROM hack where they change it up by having that not be the case. Man, I'm a little creeped out by these um, by these. Uh, I don't even know what these are. Okay, well, we got save room to the left. I wonder if you could have gone, uh, gone to this area without accessing the map from the other side, possibly. So I guess having the map will hopefully come in handy. Oh, it just says Kraid. I'm pretty sure in the first Metroid game... Wait, did, did it call the area just Kraid? No, it didn't. It, it called it Brinstar in Norfair, right? Maybe it said Kraid's Lair. In Ridley's Lair. Oh man, big boy. Oh, why does that missile look so, like, slender? It looks like extra cock and bolly with the fins of the missile, you know? Oh my god, am I dead? Okay, shoo. Okay, I don't buy this for one minute. Oh, really nothing? All right. Oh man, that one gave me 30. Do the big ones always give you 30 instead of 20, I wonder? Oh man, what was I saying though? Oh yeah, I always tell people, whenever, you know, cause I've worked there for almost eight years and I've heard my fair share about people bitching about their job and I've done my own fair share, you know? But I always tell people, like, if you're truly unhappy, if you are as unhappy as you're making it sound, then, like, don't wait for the situation to improve. You know, or if you don't like the person that works next to you, don't wait for them to, to bid off or die or get fired or whatever. Like, just get out of there, man. Just save yourself, man. Sometimes you just gotta get the hell out of Dodge. So, funnily enough... Oh man, look, you can actually see the, uh, see the pathway, the passage or whatever. Funnily enough, it was just a couple days after I made that episode where I mentioned that, that I actually had to, uh, take my own advice and bid. I don't know, sometimes it is hard to take your own advice. Like, everyone likes to give advice. But then people often, um, have a hard time taking their own advice. Well, they just, like, don't notice. But uh, if you're gonna give advice, then you know it's then you should then it's in your best interest to you know make sure that you're taking your own advice. You know, because if you don't take your own advice, then it's not good advice, and then you shouldn't be giving it to people. So I took my own advice and bid. Uh, I don't know if one way is better to go than the other. Okay, well, that's not the good way. Oh, there is a way to go. Uh, oh, power bomb. Okay. Oh, wait, I can't go down here?
Okay, well, there has to be a way to get back up. This is a bit easier than in the original Metroid. I was actually decent at it as a kid. Getting back up these, like, super long vertical shafts with the... with the breakable blocks. Okay, so they made it, like, a little inconvenient to get out of there, but actually not too bad. Some of the stuff in Metroid, in the original Metroid, was, like, diabolical. Some of the traps and whatnot. Plus that one area with the vertical, uh... Things or whatever, like that could be that could be hard for some people. I actually don't remember having that much trouble at it, uh, getting out of there as a kid. But there were some other areas that were nasty too. Like like people get people can get stuck there for like a super mega long time. Or that one area in that golden area where you go, um, where you go but uh, beneath the fake uh, the fake lava or acid or whatever. Uh, when you're in the room where it like copies like twice or whatever. In the original Metroid. Uh, you can get out of there, or you can, you can, like, fall down, and, um, and, like, you know, I have gotten out as a kid, but it's, like, hard. There's probably people that just, like, turned the game off, that, like, thought it was, like, a soft lock. I'm pretty sure you can die and get out, though, too, right? Okay, so can't go up there, can't go down, can't go right, have to go left. So this, like, secret pathway is, like, bubkiss for now. Man, we're actually at an episode. I did cut a little bit, but I don't think it was that much. Okay, we still have ways to go. wonder what this symbol is. Two rooms to the left. Let's check that out. I might not be able to, be able to even get to it. Maybe that's what it means when you're going to get like a, like a power-up item. Okay, do I need ball dash to get past this or something? Oh, do I need um, Spider Ball? Is that like ma is that like the magnetized surface in the background? Is that what that represents? That'd be kind of cool. Are oh, they like incorporating it into like the two D ones? Okay, can't go that way. All right. So also um, also a year and a half. I don't know. I've been thinking lately. Oops. Uh, apparently I fell. I got hurt on something. What was that? Oh, it was just a spike. Dude's just holding a spike for no reason. Well, you just gotta fall and hope you don't land on him. Oh, man. Okay, we are stuck down here. Okay, left or right, but I've played... Oh, wait, can't go left. Okay, going right. Okay, well, the good news is that because we're trapped, now I know that, like, we're on the right path. Like, there is something progress-related uh, in this direction. Oh my god, that startled me a little bit. Why is it making like like an NES sound? It should at least be making like the Super Metroid, like Super Nintendo 16-bit sound effect. Okay, so the game like requires you to learn how to wall jump. What a weird sound. It almost sounds like a flute or something. Um. Oh, that was one way. Now we're back here. Uh, okay, well, I don't want to be... Okay, so maybe that whole uh, floor is all collapsible. 
Maybe this left door will, well, let's see, maybe this left door will be open since I took the wall jumping tutorial. Hum. Yeah, I should have taken that guy out first, Durr. Hum, 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 hum. They wouldn't put a fake, uh, like, wall through one of these, uh, things to the left, right? Yeah, that bomb took forever to explode. I'm thinking that th maybe they did mess with the, with the bomb timers. Not 100% sure. Actually, those ones seem to be normal. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like every third bomb takes a little bit longer. That's all it would take to make you not able to bomb jump, I think, right? At least these ones don't reform. That's actually nice. Oh man, okay, well, episode doesn't end until I get, like, untrapped from this area. Or at least, like, find a way to go. Is it possible to... In the base game... You can buy- you can, like, bypass this wall jumping area, but if you go into the wall jumping area, you have to wall jump to escape, is that correct? I'm not 100% sure, but I think- I think that is the case. So when people say, um... You know, things like bomb jumping and wall jumping are, like, not required to beat the game. It's like, well, you don't have to go to that area where you have to wall jump. Or, no, it's it's bomb jump and, uh, or it's wall jump and shine, uh, shine spark. But you don't have to do either of those to beat the game. But if you go to the place where you have to do it to escape, then you do actually have to do it. You have to do it at least the one time to escape, right? Yeah, I guess the shine spark area is obvious. Because that's just a single path. But the wall jump area, that's like a whole, like, multi-room area. You can't get out of there, I don't think, without wall jumping. I think. Okay, so I just have to not go down there, I guess. Can't go left. Was I not able to go right and then up and then left? Or up? Let's try those uh, paths. But I was also... Oh, wait, no. I This was Bubkiss. I couldn't go any of these ways, either. Oh, god damn it. Hum. Well, we are at an episode. I do have to end it. So let's just meet back when... Uh, oh, man. I didn't save exploring this whole area. Oh, all right, whatever. Uh, I don't think I got anything. Except for that one missile pack. So since we're at an episode, we'll just meet back when... Um, when I find, like, an, another, like, way to go or whatever. Um, then we'll start the next episode. And hopefully that will lead to progress, unlike, unlike in this episode. So, um, so yeah, that's going to conclude this one. Thanks, as always, for watching. Uh, please drop me a like on this video, because I would super mega appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye.